Hey folks, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating to you my big three glute strengthening exercises for runners. So if you're a runner who wants to start building a little bit of strength around the hips and the glutes, this quick and simple at home body weight routine is going to be perfect for you. So the routine we're going to do in this video is three really simple body weight exercises you can do at home with no equipment. They're going to be absolutely perfect for you if you're a runner and you're new to strength training, if you want to build up some strength around the glutes and the lateral hip. All you need is a space on the floor and we'll get started with the first exercise. So this is going to be a hamstring and glute bridge. We're just going to lie on our backs, knees up like this, hands on the floor and we're just going to push up into the bridge, hold for a second and relax back down. Up, hold for a second, relax back down. Now what we want to think about here is trying to fire those hips up to the ceiling as high as you can get them. You're looking for a straight line from the knee all the way down through the hips to the shoulder. So what we want to avoid is this is only coming up into this kind of sagging position where there's a curve there. We want a nice straight line down here. And as you push up, you want to really squeeze those glutes. You can feel the muscle tightening there. Um, this is the first progression of this exercise. To make it a little bit harder, we can take the hands off the floor, put them across our chest. That just puts a little more weight into the legs. And then again, if you want to move on a little bit more, you can put the hands back on the floor and bring one knee into the chest. So you're doing the exercise one-legged. And it's just exactly the same. We're pushing up, squeezing the glutes, firing the hips to the ceiling, looking for that straight line. And finally, to make it even harder, take the hands off the floor, across the chest, And what we're looking to do with this exercise is find the variant that works for you and we want to work to a rule of tough at 10. You want 10 reps to be quite difficult to complete. If you're getting up to say 15 and it's quite easy, then look to progress to the next variant. If you get into 15 with the one-legged variant there, then maybe you want to look at adding some weight somehow to the exercise. So we're going to move on to the second exercise, this is the reverse lunge and we're going to need to stand up for this one. So we're just going to stand with our feet nice and close together, standing upright and it's just going to be a case of stepping backwards into this lunge, dropping the knee to the floor and standing back up, simple as that. Now there's just a few key points to consider and remember when you're doing this exercise. Number one, stay nice and tall throughout, so if you can brace the belly and the back Nice tall posture, and as you sit back, maintain that posture. Common mistake here is to hunch forward or arch back. We want to stay nice and tall, and then as we stand up, keeping that tall posture standing all the way up. So nice and tall in the lunge, nice and tall standing up. Avoid coming over into a hunch position and uh, not standing up. We want to stand up nice and tall in between each rep. The second thing is to be nice and controlled with it. So what I see a lot of the time is people just dropping back into the position. Now, if you do it nice and slow and controlled, as well as the main mover muscles, you're gonna be bringing in more of a control element, all these little muscles around the hips, deep in the glutes. And that's gonna give you a real benefit. So nice and slow and controlled the whole way. And finally, we want to make sure as we come up, all the weight and the force is being put into this front leg. So it's the front leg doing the work. What we want to avoid is kicking off on the back leg. That just takes all the glute strengthening elements out of the exercise. So focus on nice and controlled, putting all that weight into the front leg and we're just pushing up using that leg. Now it might take you a little while to get used to the movement element of this to get the balance and the coordination right. That's fine and that's normal, just stick with it. And similar to the glute bridge exercise, we want to work to a rule of tough at 10. We want 10 reps of this to be quite difficult. 
If you're getting up to 15 reps and it's quite easy, this is an exercise that's really easy to add some weight to. You can grab a kettlebell, a dumbbell, anything you've got really. Just hold it tight into your chest and just do exactly the same thing. Remember to stay nice and tall all the way coming on the front leg. So that's the second exercise in the routine, the reverse lunge. We've got one more to do, the side plank, and we're back on the floor for this one. So the glute bridges that we started off with, they worked the main prime movers, the glute max and the hamstrings. And then we went on to reverse lunge. That also worked, those main muscles, but it brought in a bit of a control element, bringing in these lateral hip muscles. We're going to finish off the routine by really bringing the emphasis onto the lateral side now. Um, we're going to do that with some side planks. So this, again, really simple. It's just coming onto our side like this. Elbow underneath the shoulder, feet stacked on top of each other, and you're just going to push down with the heel with the feet and the elbow to bring the hips up like this. We're looking for a nice straight line between the feet all the way up the side of the body to the shoulder. And what we're looking for here is a 45 second total hold time. Now, you might find it difficult to do that if you've never done side planks before. So that's fine. You can break that 45 second up into smaller chunks. So for example, four 10 second chunks, three 15 second chunks. Just trying to put a small rest of maybe five to 10 seconds in between. Really recommend just getting your phone out and putting a timer on that. It's really good for keeping track. Just a few pointers for you. When you come up here, you want to make sure that your pelvis is nice and straight and vertical. You want to avoid rolling over like this forwards or rolling over backwards. It just takes the emphasis off the muscles that we're trying to work. You want to make sure, if you can, that your shins or the side of your legs are off the floor. However, if you do find it too difficult to do this position, what you can do is bring the knees bent like this to take the legs behind you and rather than using your feet as the point of contact to raise up off you just use the knees like this so this is a real good starting point if you struggle with the full side plank again though even with that position looking to try and do 45 seconds if you can so that's my big three routine the glute bridges the reverse lunges and the side plank Remember for the glute bridges and the reverse lunges, the rule of tough at 10. If it's not challenging you, then it's not going to change anything. So you want to make sure it's difficult enough, but manageable. And the same with the side planks, although we're looking for 45 seconds total hold each time. And what I recommend is doing these exercises in order, then going back to the start, repeating again. And if you have time, doing a third set, that's ideal. And that will be a great way of starting off your at-home bodyweight strengthening routine. So give it a go. Let me know how you get on. If you know anyone that might find this useful, please share it with them. Take a second to just subscribe to my YouTube channel and give my Facebook page a like. That way you keep in touch with all the new content as it arrives. And we'll see you in another video soon.